So guys and girls, welcome back to another video. I'm Hamza and together with Updato.com, we're bringing back the most requested series, which is top apps of the month. So with that being said, every app I mentioned will be listed in the description below for you guys to go ahead and check out. Also, thanks to our partnership with the team over at Updato.com, we're getting ready to introduce some awesome content in the next few weeks. It's going to be sick, so make sure you stay tuned. But with that being said, let's get to it. First up is Death Pipe. This is one of those games where you're bound to get addicted to it. Pretty much the name says it all, but the concept of the game is to get as far as you can without dying, and in the process you have to avoid various obstacles and death traps. But it's actually so immersive because the app uses the phone's gyroscope to move the player around the game to allow it to twist and turn. The game gets really hard as you progress as it speeds up with even more obstacles in front of you, just adding to that overall experience. Now I would highly recommend this if you just want to kill some time, it's got some great graphics graphics and is definitely some great fun. Next on the list is Fight Club. It's one of those retro vibe games that isn't actually fully released yet, but it's available on the Play Store. It's an action packed game featuring a hundred different superhero characters, different maps and different playing modes. The single player mode features you and another character and literally you just fight it out until the end. There's two arrows to move around within the game and that does take some getting used to, but once you've got that out of the way, it's really an enjoyable game. You get various power ups or weapons as you progress through the game itself and you can even play with two players if that's what you want. Third on the list is Chilly Snow. The concept is pretty simple. You're meant to weave in and out of the trees or basically avoid them for as long as you can. Learning how to play the game is straightforward as well because you can just use either side of the device to act as a left or right to move the ball. As you get further down the game it starts speeding up and you gain a higher difficulty with a higher score. You also get bonus points based on how close you get to the trees itself and the more points you accumulate allows you to customise the look of the game and its different features. Golfinity is next up and it's a great game to kill some time because it just goes on and on with so many different levels. It's kind of self explanatory but all you do is position the golf ball into the hole and try and get it in with as few shots as possible. There's tons of levels to choose from and the difficulty gets harder on each one. The minimal colours, design and the sound really wrap up the experience. Moving on from games is a productivity app called Tasks. It's designed to make you more productive by better managing your time. It's split up into four different sections to prioritize your workload and it's based on the popular title the seven habits of highly effective people now what this does is the top left is for urgent important tasks for tasks that need doing literally asap then there's important but not urgent and you get the point of it then we have urgent but not important and finally neither urgent nor important so you're that's at the bottom of the pile now with this app you're basically able to visually see and prioritize the daily or weekly tasks that you need to get done and start working on them based on this orderly list. It's helped me to triple down on what needed to get done on the day and for someone like me that writes down my daily goals and schedules out most of my days, this is a must have in my opinion. Simple Truths. If you haven't heard of this then you are missing out because it's some great fun and to even play with some mates it's really awesome. Now the clean UI presents you with two cars and you've got to decide which one is true and which one is false. It's also pretty sick because it increases your general knowledge and you do find out some pretty interesting facts. So if you are interested I'll leave it linked in the description below for you to check out. Let's talk wallpaper apps. This is Material Islands and if you're like me and you like clean design then this is for you. It's an app that has a myriad of material wallpapers to choose from which seem to change based on the time of day to set the mood. Obviously this is an app targeted towards a specific niche and I would have liked them to add even more wallpapers but this is what you have for now. The clean UI makes it easy to navigate through and select the wallpaper of your choice and from there you can easily apply it to your home screen. Now for those that want a bit more of variety then I would recommend to go for minimalistic wallpapers. This has a wide range of different categories so it's not just material wallpapers, they've got a lot more to offer. Personally I really like their architecture section as it has some dope artwork for cities and skylines and there's bound to be something in there for you. Ninth on the list is Grammarly Keyboard, it's fairly popular and it's a keyboard that solves a solution to all of your typing problems. Now I rely on autocorrect probably for every single text that I send as I just can't type on smartphones for some reason, so this app is a lifesaver as it quickly makes any necessary changes to the text and makes them gra grammatically correct. 
The more you use the app, it will be able to learn from your texting language and learn from your mistakes and correct it more accurately. Not only does it use the correct words, but it corrects the grammar as well. So all that fancy stuff like commas and all that are detected and can be added in if you wish. Last up is crypto coins. This only appeals to those that are into cryptocurrency or are thinking about it. Nevertheless, this is a great app to literally track whatever coin you want and have a detailed insight onto the current price, market cap, volume, etc. The app is fairly straightforward to navigate through and the rates are accurate as well and updated regularly. I also like how you can see the percentage increase for those coins and it gives you the option to add whatever ones to your favorites. So if that's something that interests you, then go ahead and check it out. But it's really great to just keep your eye on a specific coin or the market and see what it's doing. But with that being said, that wraps it up for today's video. Anyway guys, if you like that I brought back today's series, make sure to leave a thumbs up on today's video. Also click the link in the description below for any of the apps which you are interested in downloading. And with that being said, I'm Hamza and I'll talk to you lot in the next one. Later.